First off, I want to dedicate this to the Melendrez family in my friend Dominique or Scott Melendrez and his son Logan and Nick and their girlfriend Emily and of course the lovely Lisa because he came into work today, right? I did a card reading last night, I did a video, but I just wasn't sure about it. I didn't know about it. I just, I don't know, something was just off, right? And he comes into work, he's like, Mike, I need to talk to you. And I talk about mystic stuff, and so does he. He's dated gypsies. I've dated gypsies. So he comes to me, and he just starts telling me about this dream he had about his son that committed suicide, unfortunately. And he's had a lot of death surrounding him this year, and a lot of weird stuff going around him. And with the corona and everything, we've all had a lot of weird stuff around us. And I just look at him, and I'm like, this goes into a card reading I just did last night. I just wasn't sure to release the video. And he was like, I actually wanted to ask you if you could do a card reading. And well, I did. And I asked, what is the attack amongst humanity? What is going on? Okay, all my card readings have come to fruition. I said there was going to be a harvest in my future. My YouTube and, and, and Rumble and all kinds of videos have gone off. And I'm not even worried about that because that's not what this is about. But I just saw it. It said it. My bank account is fine. I'm back, I'm back to work, and I'm working more hours than I can even keep up with. Every, my harvest came. And there has been a harvest for a lot of other people, okay? Including the medical industry. I don't even want to go there. But it came. There was a harvest. All right? And we all seen it. And now that everybody's trying to get back to normal, we are starting to see the attack. And during my Trump card reading, I said he will return, but there is an evil veil that has been that is going to be unlifted. And I talked about the unveiling, the unlifting, the revelation. I said we're living in revelation, which mankind is being revealed what's going on. We are seeing behind the curtain, and that is happening. And with that being said, we need to see who our enemies are. And this was the first card I pulled. Boom. This guy is the five of swords all right and you see his swans see how dirty they are this guy got kicked out of heaven or whatever heaven state he was in because he kept trying because he kept trying to manipulate it and they sent his dirty little swans out with their little daggers and swords because they kept trying to manipulate it they couldn't be happy in the matrix they were in so he got kicked the hell out of uh heaven just like my Archangel Michael had to kick the devil out of heaven. Isn't that so ironic? Yes, it is, and that's how it works. But with that being said, this guy reminds me of somebody I want to tell you right now and the attack that we're under right now that I've seen, I've been talking about, which is Hollywood, is Bill Maher. This, my friend, is Bill Maher. He speaks with a forked tongue. And when I say he speaks with a forked tongue, that means I, he, that means he, I mean he speaks in truths and in false truths at the same time. And he's a clever little magician. And that's what all these people are. And this is it. This is Stephen Colbert. This is Jimmy Fallon. These are the dark gooses that go beneath him. That right there to me, if I can put it in any plain way to explain to you using the tarot, the ancient, the ancient, not ancient, ancient practices of the tarot is currently Bill Maher. He bends words and comedy to fit the agenda because he kissed the ring. All right? And we're going to see that. What do you mean? Boom. He is the, there is an orchestrator. There is a pianist. There is somebody right here playing the piano, playing the fiddle, playing nature, programming and telling you a vision. There is something there behind the scenes, whether it's him, somebody behind him, somebody pays him. There is a grand orchestrator playing it. Whether it's good or evil or a necessary evil, there it is. Somebody is trying to control the scene. Do you see the piano and how it's going into everything? It's intertwined in everything because it's a cabal. This is what I've been talking about. Very important card reading right here. I feel that we are living in... I don't think we're living in hell, and I don't think we're living in heaven. Although I've carved out my little slice of heaven. I think we're living in... Um, what is that thing called? We're kind of living in the middle. Remember in the Matrix 
where uh, Keanu Reeves' character gets caught in that subway and he can't leave. We're caught in the middle right now, you know? And that's why they have, uh, like, Stranger Things, the Upside Down, because it is the Upside Down. Okay, that's them. We're living in an inverted world. They're trying to invert the world. They're trying to bring us down. We want to live in positivity. We want to get happy because somebody hit a home run. We want to get happy because somebody hit a touchdown. But, dude, the San Diego Padres today just tried to buy a World Series, okay? We've watched basketball teams buy uh, championships with LeBron, with Anthony Davis. We've watched football teams buy Super Bowls with Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay, Los Angeles Rams trying to create a market in Los It's all by design. Do you see it now? It's all design. And we are living in purgatory, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. And this is how I know we're here. We're not in heaven. We're not in hell. We're not in pleasure or pain. We're in a test platform right here. This came up in the Trump card reading. You see how it's a white swan, not a black swan. And you see the Bill Maher amongst us. Whatever's behind Bill Maher is there, and you can see almost the black swans are touching us. The only thing that can break it is enlightenment and acknowledgement to the swans. Do you go black? Look at the swans carried swords. Do you see how the tarot is intertwining? I can't make this up. I didn't make this up. This was a card reading I pulled last night, and thank goodness to Dominique Scott Melendres, who came in today and was all mixed up because something touched his soul. He, he had dreams of his son that's committed suicide, and he woke up, and he had a mechanical machine right here that helps him breathe, and it opened up without him touching it. And every now and then, things like that are going to happen to you, and you're going to realize we're in a mystic world, and you're going to start to question the Georgia Guidestones. You're going to start to question the, uh, uh, I can't remember the, the other Guidestones that they had. I just feel like they're the Guidestones. Why did they... Guidestones exist. What they were put on ley lines. It's energy. Everything is a frequency and is energy. Okay. So I don't want to get too far into that. With that being said, how have I existed walking through purgatory? Which I'm gonna name this video now. This is how. One step at a time. How I have existed for 43 years. And walk through purgatory is one step at a time. This is the Princess of Cups. And she walks the ocean. And with each step, a turtle pops up and gives her a steady ground to put her foot on. Because she is just, she is honest. She is for humanity. She is for survival. And... The universe knows her, just like the universe knows you. And we're getting to the point now where you're going to have to take the leap of faith. And I'm going to show you the controllers. And I pulled this in the Jay-Z card reading, okay? I'm going to show you the division of what they want. The reality they want for you is this one. I pulled this in the Jay-Z. You know, he always throws up his little triangle, his little sign, his little symbol. And what do they want to do? They want to L G. B T Q U. This is him standing on the lion. Look behind him. Everything is desolate. Without CO2, without the environment, we die. And what do they want to kill? The environment. This is what they want. They want to dominate the world. They don't want dominant men in the world. Look at him. What is he wearing? Exactly a robe. I don't need to go there. Figure it out. Like 50 Cent said, I don't need to speak with, if you can't read between the lines, I'm sorry for you, homie. With that being said, they have a, a lot of people on the precipice. This is a woman that's on the precipice. And they have a lot of us on the precipice. On the edge, you're going to have to take that leap of faith. Like the Princess of Cups, you're going to have to just Take one step. You see the Princess of Cups? She took one step. She was there at one point. We're all going to be there at one point. And guess what happened? She took a step and another step and another step. Do you want to jump off a cliff and kill yourself and be a maniac? No. 
Why would you do that? Why would you throw this life away? You don't know what's next. And that's why we're in purgatory. You don't know what's next. And that's the trick. That's the trick. You don't know what's next, but they do. Science cannot prove that you can erase anything. So the only thing you can, when you leave this body, this physical being, is your karmic code and your soul. That's it. When your soul leaves your body and your body just goes and it feeds back to the earth, that's all you got. And then it's so funny because I was talking to Dominique and his family and I pulled out this card. I thought I set them aside. I didn't. I put them back in the deck, but I set them on top of the deck. I pulled this one in and I pulled this on many card readings. When the cat's away, the mice will play and a, and a couple other more. The karmic energy is going back around them they're getting tripped up this is why you see sleepy joe kamala harris and this is why this guy will be exposed because he had he cut us on the one and we're gonna catch you on the two and i say that in the uh, uh no rest for the wicked the archangel michael song i said there's no rest for the wicked you can catch me on the one i'm gonna catch you on the two because we sat back and we observed you and now your karma is coming around against you. And isn't it so funny? Guess what? It's black crows or black birds that are coming against him. And I'm just going to leave it at that because that's what's happening. They're in snagging him. They're snagging him. They were all on his side. But what happens when stuff gets rough, they turn and they snag him. You see the karma? Do you see it? The yin and the yang? Yeah, it's all in the back of my walls. That's why I have it all there. With that being said, talk to you later. Peace out.